C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Pa. A crisp slap sounded in the quiet room, followed by a sharp sound. You shameless Shao San, don't think you can seduce my man with just a little beauty. Let me tell you, as long as I'm not dead, you can forget about sitting in the same seat as Madame Shi. Yun Shi covered his face and looked at the man who stood at the side and did not say a word. A sliver of desolation appeared in his eyes, and his gaze quickly turned towards the fierce woman in front of him. Shameless. The woman raised her hand and slapped him again. Crack. The director shouted out loud, then faced the female lead, and bowed and said, Sister Chin, this show is over. We just need to rest a bit, and we can shoot the next scene. Seeing that no one was paying attention to her, Yun Shi covered his burning face and went to the bathroom, looking at his swollen face in the mirror and sighed, just now, he accidentally knocked into Sister Chin, he did not expect to attract such retaliation, these two slaps had used quite a bit of strength, he quickly used his powder to wipe, but he was still unable to cover up the five fingerprints. Since there were no more scenes for her, Yun Shi took his things and left the recording studio, once he walked out of the room, Yun Shi felt that he was lost, this was the most luxurious hotel in Yunnan city. Because of the face of the sister Qin, the hotel allowed the production team to film the adultery scene here for three days, she wandered around the floor for a long time before she finally saw the elevator in front of her. She wanted to walk up to it, but something was hugging her thigh tightly. The little boy raised his head and looked at her. His pink face was like a bun, and his big beautiful eyes were gradually covered by a layer of fog. It seemed as if he was about to cry. Little friend, what happened to you? When Yun Shi saw his cute little eyes, her heart melted. I, just as little kid wanted to speak, from the other side of the corridor, a man's boorish voice came out, scaring him to the point that his entire body was trembling uncontrollably. I only told you to take a bath, you actually ran around. The man cursed as he walked towards the two of them. He grabbed little kid by the arm and said, hurry and take a bath with me. Little kid hugged onto Yun Shi's thigh even more tightly, not willing to let go no matter what. I don't know you. You're a bad guy. Little kid was not a match for the man, and quickly forced him to let go of Yun Shi. His two calves continuously moved in the air, towards Yun Shi's direction, and opened up as he cried, Mommy, Mommy save me, Yun Shi felt that something was amiss. Seeing that the man did not have any feelings for the child, and that his clothes were inferior to the little kids, she thought to herself, getting, could it be that she had met a trafficker with her head burning, she walked forward and hugged little kid to her chest. What are you doing? When the man saw someone snatching the child, he shouted, he's my son. Little kid threw himself into Yun Shi's embrace, his hands hugging her neck tightly. His entire body trembled, causing Yun Shi's heart to ache. Your son. Yun Shi squinted his eyes, his imposing manner did not lose out to others as he laughed, how ridiculous, when did my husband become you? The man couldn't help but be taken aback as he said with a fierce glint in his eyes, don't meddle in other people's business. Otherwise, we'll kill you as well. Yun Shi quickly carried little kid and turned to run. The man behind was startled and quickly chased after him. That a woman's physical ability was not as good as a man's, not to mention that she was carrying a child, Yun Shi was quickly blocked by the man in the corner. Run. Let's see where you can run to. Little kid, when you have the chance, run, understand. Yun Shi didn't care if the little kid understood or not, she put the little kid down and hid it behind her. Run. Humph, neither of you will be able to escape. The man revealed a sinister smile, I accidentally bumped into this little thing. I had originally planned to casually fish out a sum, but I didn't expect to give it to such a beautiful woman for nothing. Yun Shi's face darkened, he raised his fist and punched the man's face, then kicked his lower body. The man had his hands on his lower body, his eyes wide open, looking extremely uncomfortable. She quickly turned around and pulled the stunned little kid away. The moment she turned the corner, she smashed into a sturdy meat wall, 
causing her to continuously retreat, she thought that she had met the accomplice of that trafficker, but when she looked up, she found that there was actually such a good dot looking man in the world, his short black hair and eyes were as sharp as an eagle's. Under the light of the lamp, they were as deep as a pond. It was as if just looking at them would cause him to be deeply attracted to it, gradually sinking into the whirlpool in his eyes, his handsome face was as if carved by a knife, and his delicate facial features showed no signs of being picky. It was as if he had walked out of a painting, had her brain been damaged. Why did she feel that this man's handsome appearance was so surreal that it was like a dream or illusion? If not for the aura of a superior being exuding from her opponent, she would have thought that she was dreaming. Bitch, don't run. The man quickly caught up, he didn't expect to have another man. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.